Hey guys, what's up? Today, uh, we got uh, some funny process. So, I got a lot of questions on internet. How, I'm sorry, why I'm not uh, put fiber CPU pins straight in Aqua Regia. And uh, I uh, try to explain that uh, you cannot put straight uh, pins in Aquaregia because uh, they contain a lot of tin, lead and other stuff. Uh, so today we will uh, we will do that process in that way, straight in Aquaregia. But uh, first we, uh, I must show you what you need to do first before you do that. Okay? Let's go to work. Okay? In this setup I got 140 gram CPU pins, fiber CPU pins, and if you could see inside, they contain a lot of lead, tin, and other stuff. So what we need to, to do first before Aqua Regia is to boil them in the HCL. To remove all that tin. Okay, so let's cover that and uh, put some heat on, just low heat, and leave that for uh, maybe uh, one hour on a low temperature to remove all that tin and lead okay I'll change this uh, catch pan because uh, I remove some other stuff I do right now so uh, after wash see this after wash with the hot HCL we got that uh, purple HCL saturated liquid and we are remove most of the that tin and lead so now we're gonna rinse that with the hot water and uh, prepare that for the, for some aquaregia we will rinse that a couple of times with the water now we will make some four man aquaregia we will add some HCL and we will add some natrium nitrate I will add a free spoon Okay, now I cover that and uh, I leave it on the low heat, okay? After some time, we got reaction. See that bubbles and the change color? Lots of bubbles. You got be careful of that fumes, always wearing a mask. This is our first batch to see some foils. That foils we will return back in the our second batch. And uh, this is a new batch. Because we got uh, a lot of things here. We will make some new aquaregia. This is our second batch. 
We got a very harsh reaction, but no heat. Just a little heat, enough for the start. If your solution go, go to boil over the edge, move it from the from the heat. Put them on side on cold. Okay, let's see what happens here. Why I said uh, the CPU pins is not for uh, straight aqua regia. We got uh, foil removed, but uh, we got still a lot base metal. After second batch, we got uh, still more base metal. And we remove only foils from the pins, like uh, normal nitric acid. But now when we start, we'll make a third batch. Okay, okay this is our first batch. Third batch. And we still got reaction. Okay guys, this is our last batch. There's not much pins inside. See this just a little sand and down. I put inside two filter from the filtering previous four batch and this is our solution. On the last four batch so this is the jar two and a half liter so you can figure out how much you need a poor man aqua regia just for uh, 140 gram cpu pins yeah because uh, i don't know that that iron iron or core or what is it in the that pins it's a uh, real real hard to dissolve and very fast it's saturated for men's aqua regia i don't know i need to try with the normal aqua regia with the nitric acid to see what happened maybe they need a lot more but uh, for men aqua regia need almost to uh to it to it see that jar is not full Jar is two and a half liter. So we got here more 400 milliliter, and we add HCl and uh, nitric salt. So okay, we will wait. Hey friends, so what I'm gonna do is uh, in this time I will do uh, two drop. Why? Uh, because uh, I don't want to mix this with this uh, because uh, I think uh, that I don't want to take a risk to lose any gold because uh, this is a uh, full of base metal solution is full of base metal and uh, in that beaker on heat uh, it's uh, mostly of gold gold foils so I just want to drop what gold we got inside. Here in that glass I got uh, uh, 20 gram of potassium metabisulfate. So I want to add and we'll see in the morning if we got some gold here. But probably not or very small because the base metal is the first which go in the Acoregia, but just for case, okay? Okay guys, we filter this and uh, two times we rinse solution with water and uh, this slug is uh, just the remains from filters which I boil in the Acoregia so 
Put time rinse with water, destillate water, and this is our only solution. Still got some base metal, but never mind, not much. Okay. Now we're gonna add urea to neutralize some extra nitric. And you see that we got reaction, so we got some nitric plus inside. And you add urea till you no, don't have any more reaction. Okay. Better if you add urea to hot solution. So this is our solution, neutralize, and this is a SMB. Dissolve in a distillated water. Now we drop some gold. Not much gold inside, I don't expect too much. But never mind. Just fiber CPU. Okay. This angle is much better to see. So leave that, that to morning to go settle down and we we will see how much gold we got from from 140 gram cpu pins fiber cpu pins after one morning uh, after 24 hours we got our gold better look in the morning in the sun see that all that gold it's pretty clean and it's heavy so now we're gonna filter that and uh, go to melt hey guys welcome so this is little bit from our CPU pins fiber CPU pins after melting and the size is 0.7 gram not bad not bad at all uh, from 140 gram pins we got uh, just that gold 0.7 gold okay so this is why shouldn't go with that pin straight to aquaregia because it's a very very slow process so my method is a priority to AP, then acid bleach or aquaregia, but first AP remove all that extra base metal. Okay, see you around guys.